Hi, I'm your host, Caleb Lawrence in sunny Santa Cruz, California, with today's Market Bull Financial Update for June 16th, 2020. The major averages couldn't hold all of their early gains, but closed substantially higher after more economic data supported the quick, quote-unquote, V-shaped recovery theme. That said, infection rates continue to climb, and in some places sharply, in the post-reopening period. Retail sales dramatically beat to the upside in May with a solid 17.7% advance and well above the 9.8% increase expected. The gain was the largest on record and included all major segments. Despite the increase, sales were 6.1% below their year-ago level. A strong number to be sure, but it remains to be seen how much of this is an expression of pent-up demand from everyone being cooped up for eight weeks and how much of this is real. Data for June and July will answer those questions. Industrial production finished its COVID-19-induced round trip in May, jumping 12.6 percentage points to plus 1.4%, the first expansion for the series since February. A huge 120.8% advance in motor vehicle and parts production led the increase. Mining contracted for a fourth straight month after, it declined, after its decline increased to 6.8%. Utilities production also fell down 2.3% to post a fourth decline in the last six months. Despite the good news, the report went on to note that a quick V-shaped recovery for manufacturing was unlikely. A lot of positive economic data has hit the tape of late, indicating that a quick V-shaped recovery was underway. And while we have also seen some questionable reports as well, the May employment report comes to mind, as does recent federal income tax receipts. State and local income tax receipts for the first quarter, a period that was largely normal as COVID-19 didn't hit in earnest until mid-March, continued their slowing trend began in the second quarter of 2019, slipping 1.4 points to 4.3%. The report went on to note that second quarter tax receipts are expected to fall sharply, complements of social distancing, travel restrictions, and falling corporate profits. The Standard & Poor's 500 index closed today at 3,124.74, up 58.15, while the Nasdaq finished the day at 9,895.87, up 169.84. Gold ended trading at $1,734.60 an ounce, up $7.40. This is Caleb Lawrence, Registered Investment Advisor. If you would like to make an appointment, I can be reached directly at 831-334-5318 or through Microsoft Teams video conferencing at caleb at clinvestments.com. You can also find me on social media, YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. Advisory services are offered through Caleb Lawrence, Registered Investment Advisor, Inc. And with that, you're up to date.